Welcome to the 25 year anniversary of Metro Cable Network Channel 6. Tonight we're going to have a very interesting program for you because while it's cold outside, it's a frigid January night, it's warm inside in the newest brew pub in Northeast Minneapolis, our neighbor on 13th Avenue and 2nd Street, Dangerous Man Brewery. Rob, how you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks you guys for coming. We talked a little bit earlier and you, and you mentioned how welcomed you feel in this 13th Avenue business district. Yeah, it's been a very welcoming community. Everyone's been really supportive right from the get-go. Um, we garnered a lot of support from neighboring businesses and residents that had nothing but support. And we're excited to be here and kind of give the support back and bring something new and exciting to the community. And before we go any farther, you got to tell me, how the heck did you get these kettles inside this building? Yeah, that was not easy. <laughs> um, so we had to actually take the whole frame of the front, the front doors off, um, take all the woodworking out in the front entryway, and uh, brought them right in the front door. We have no loading dock here, um, so it was a tough, tough process. We had about one inch on either side to get them in, and we just squeezed them all in, barely. You know, and I know you're new, but we do allow people to swear when they're doing tough jobs here in Northeast. Okay. <laughs> well, I can do a little bit of that. <laughs> and how did you get involved in this whole brewing industry? Because it truly is a new industry here in yep. the city of Minneapolis. Um, I kind of fell in love with craft beer when I went to school out in Montana. Um, kind of got to taste a lot of good beer and experience some really neat breweries similar to this. And moved back to Minneapolis, started home brewing, and kind of realized there wasn't a lot of options for craft beer drinkers in Minneapolis. So I thought this would be awesome to start something, a little neighborhood tap room in Minneapolis. And uh, when we moved back, it, we learned that it wasn't legal to start this kind of business in Minneapolis. So with some recent law changes over the past couple years, um, our dream model, which was just a neighborhood tap room, became legal. So we kind of got the business plan together and went for it. It's, so the city council uh, officials r recognized the chance to develop this new industry and they helped you with that? Yes, they helped a lot. We had an issue with the being too close to the church and uh, Gary Schiff with city council was very helpful in changing that law and uh, allowing us to get in this space. And uh, here we are, it's great. You, uh, a little bit earlier we were talking and you said you had a pinch yourself about how successful you are. As we look around here tonight, it's very early on a Friday night and this place is packed. In fact, your bouncer, your doorman, is limiting the entry. Wow, yeah, it's incredible. Um, people are really curious about it. I think people are excited that where we are, the location's amazing, uh, great neighborhood. We're a destination brewery. We're bringing people from all over the, the metro area into Northeast. Um, it's Yeah, it's super exciting. And as we were walking out, our, or as we were walking in, R.T. Ryback was walking out. He's a very been a supporter and helpful. Oh yeah, he's been supportive since from day one. He helped us get the law changed. Um, he came in, bought a growler, brought some bought some merchandise. Just been really supportive and encouraging us to go for our dreams and you know make it happen. And what are your hours here, Rob? Um, we'll be open Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 4 to 10, Friday 4 to midnight, and Saturday noon to midnight. And you have a great story about your name. I, I, I asked you, how did you ever come up with the name Dangerous Man? Yeah, it wasn't me. It was uh, my best friend's daughter. We were at a wedding together down in Texas, and we rented a house. We didn't know each other very well, and I had a big beard and a kind of bushy hair. And the first morning, I walked through the, the commons area of the house, and my best friend's daughter saw me and kind of got startled and ran. She was three years old. She ran and grabbed her mom and said, Mommy, Mommy, there's a dangerous man in our house. <laughs> and so I, the whole weekend I was termed the, the dangerous man and it kind of stuck. And tell us a little bit about your beer. What's so unique and special about the dangerous man brand? Well, we're actually not branding our beers, which is kind of unique for a brewery. We're more branding the space, the location, the whole experience here at Dangerous Man. We're not flagshipping any beers. Uh, the beers are always going to be rotating, changing styles. So we have the flexibility and opportunity to brew whatever kind of styles we want. And we want to educate customers on what they're drinking and turn them on to new styles and 
So you're, you're going to brew up a batch. You kind of get the feeling and you get exactly. in the cook and a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Exactly. I don't need to be consistent. I mean, I'm going to be consistent in brewing good beer, but as far as recipe to recipe, batch to batch, I can change it up a little bit. And uh, as a home brewer, I had that same freedom. So to be uh, on a big scale brewery, to be able to do that is really exciting for a brewer. Rob, thanks so much for your time today. Welcome to the 13th Avenue District. Welcome to Northeast Minneapolis. And we just wish you the best of luck here from Channel 6 and all of us as your neighbors. Thank you for letting us in today and having a run of it. And just, I'm curious, how many people fit in here? Our uh, occupancy is 90. Uh, okay. So Maybe a little bit over that right now, but yeah. we're, Just uh, so you know, there's a fire department next door. You might know. We got to be really careful about that. <laughs> okay. Thanks so Thank much. You and good luck. Much. All right. Have a great night. Appreciate it. Dangerous Man Brewery, and we have a special guest, Commissioner Linda Higgins, and I, before I ask you about the brewery, I gotta ask you, how exciting is it to get up in the morning and represent the county in your district? It is so fun. Is it? It's a district that runs from Plymouth on the west to St. Anthony on the east, and the, you know, the issues are interesting, the people are fun, and we get to do good work on their behalf every day. And a little bit earlier you had said, this is the most fun part about your job. It is the most fun part about being a local elected official is that you get to come to the opening of a brewery. And here's Dangerous Man in Northeast Minneapolis. And they are, um, if you can look behind us, they're like four deep at the bar. Everybody's so excited to see them here as part of the Northeast community. Great. Thank you for your time tonight, Commissioner. Happy to be here. Thank you. Dangerous Man! Ah, here you go.